previously on Subarctic Wolf Tools and Outdoors. Well, I made it back again in one piece. Slammed out my Comatech on the way back. After damaging my Comatech on my last trip, I quickly got to work repairing it. Without my Comatech and tools, there isn't a lot I can do in the wilderness. I top up the bar oil in the chainsaw, refuel it, and give it a test fire. It took quite the beating on my last trip, but I want to make sure it still runs. I managed to find a Christmas tree and I've also been very busy restocking my woodpile at home. Unfortunately after one of my trips I injured my back after sliding my snowmobile to turn around in my backyard. This injury kept me off work for almost three weeks and also prevented me from doing any activities or chores at home. This is my first snowmobile ride after my incident, and I have to be careful to avoid re-injury. This is my seventh snow bridge I built so far. Anytime I cross a road, I have to build a snow bridge on that side and on this side. And the reason for that is I picked this location here to show you better, is when they plow the roads, they plow into the ditch like this. You can see the grass showing there. They plow right down to the bottom and then there's a big berm about three feet high. This one is only about two feet. So I have to shovel snow to fill in that big gap, otherwise I'm going to slam out.
decided to stop and take a break, have a look around. I'm about one mile north of the logging trail, so I'm right off the map. You know, I'm in an area that I've never been before. You can see there's some very steep cliffs around here. So I gotta be extra careful when I'm riding. You know, everything looks white. The sky's white, the ground's white. You can see little patches of, of trees here and there, but that's it. Well, this weather is pretty nuts. I think my plans are gonna change. I originally wanted to go stop, check out my trail cam, then go a mile north and go down this old logging trail. If you guys are new to my channel, this logging trail used to be a logging road about 70 or 80 years ago. It's all overgrown now. It's only about, you know, wide enough for a snowmobile or a quad to go down. And it starts at ground level and it goes down this valley about 300 feet down. You know, it's, it's winding, there's cliffs, and I wanted to go at least check it out. I was going to park at the top and then walk down to the bottom because my snowmobile does not have reverse. And I was really worried about getting down there and not knowing what I was going to run into. I just wanted to take it easy today. It's not happening. I built seven snow bridges on the way here and probably have to rebuild them all on the way back. So I didn't like the spot I was in. I went for a little rip. Found this area with the dead fallen spruce tree. That other spot, you know, I was using my double bit axe just playing around with it. And it was just all poplar, too much work. And the snow was really deep. So I'm just parked right on my snowmobile track. I'm gonna try to build a little fire. Got some dryer lint. Everything's kind of damp. Just having a very simple lunch today. Wieners, beans, coffee. I'm on a tight budget now. You know, I was off work for two weeks after my my back injury there. Gotta conserve the gas. Don't want to use my chainsaw if I don't have to. And the snow stopped. I just wanted to show you guys that I did find my snow shovel. Fell off my Comatic a few trips back. Got banged up pretty bad. So I'm just going to let this fire die down, pack up my Comatic, ride about two miles south, park, go for a hike to my trail cam, see what's on that, and then start making my way back home. I'm not looking forward to that ride. I got so many of those snow bridges to make again. And as you've seen that uh, snow plow plowing in the ditch, they make those really high berms about three feet high and you have to dig those out and make a little bridge you just you can't ride over those with your snowmobile they're hard as a rock 
you're just going to slam something out, break something. It's a lot of work, but it has to be done. Went to go turn my trail cam on again and the batteries are dead so I'm just gonna take this home with me which kind of sucks I would have brought some extra batteries out All right guys, just made it back home. Got everything hanging up and drying. You can hear the magpies on the roof pecking away. I fed them before I left. Had a pretty rough day out there. A lot rougher than I wanted it to be. I think I'm gonna make a nice hot drink. Relax. Take it easy. I still got to empty all the snow out of my Comatic before that freezes up and becomes a big chunk of ice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.